and welcome to Testing Your Motorhome Air Brakes, presented by the RV Safety and Education Foundation. I'm Gary Bunzer, your RV doctor. We know how important it is that from a safety standpoint to be able to stop this moving mass of motorhome as we go down the road. And air brakes help us accomplish just that. And since motorhome air brakes differ greatly from a car or a pickup truck braking system, Understanding a little bit about how it works and what you can do to safely and properly test your air brake this system. This program is, is presented generically, so basically it applies to any motor home equipped with air brakes. But always refer to your owner's manual for specific information regarding your particular coach. Our instructor today is Walter Cannon, the Executive Director of the RV Safety and Education Foundation. So let's join Walter as he addresses the important topic of testing your motorhome air brakes. Walter? Today we're going to start with looking at the air brake system. We have some diagrams that will help us explain how the air brake system actually works. It's always good to know how the system works, although we're not trying to make anyone an air brake technician here. We recommend that you read your owner's manual, particularly your chassis manuals, as it concerns the air brake system so you understand your particular system, the components on your system, and really understand the maintenance procedures and schedules for your air brake system. So let's go ahead and get started. Our first slide here we're looking at is the air brake system for a single rear axle, one rear wheel. So let's take a look at the components. And we're going to start with the air compressor area of the system, and that is the area that is in blue. And that You may have two. Many do have two. If they have multiple tanks, they may have two gauges. So we need to understand where they are because you're going to need to look at those gauges once in a while. Make sure you're maintaining air pressure that everything is working properly and we have everything that we need. So we've looked at a single rear axle system. So now let's move on to a dual rear axle system. Parking brake. And it will say pull to apply, push to release. And when you do that, when you pull, you will hear the air escape the system. When you pull the park brake knob out, the air is released from the system. And just as we talked about, the spring then takes over and pushes the rear brake. A little trip outside to a motorhome, and let's run through the testing procedures. With the tires properly chalked, we're going to begin with a fully charged air system, about 120. Remember, don't start the engine. Just turn the key to the on position. Then release the brakes by pushing in on the yellow button on the dash. After the pressure drops initially on the gauge, keep your eye on the gauge. If no leaks are detected by performing this simple test, we'll move on to the emergency and recovery system test. Now, start the engine again, and watching the tachometer, hold the engine speed to between 1300 and 1500 RPM. Remember those tire chocks we put in earlier? It's time to remove them. Good help is so hard to find. Then pull forward at about five miles per hour and step on the service brake pedal. So Walter, you're saying the RV owner should perform these steps every drive day? Absolutely, Gary. By performing these few simple tests, you can ensure that your air brake system is working properly. So the three tests are the leak test, the emergency and recovery system test, and the park and service brake test. Oh man, that is such great advice. Thank you. Is it really that simple? It's just that simple. 